Hi guys, it's me, Susan, and Jolie, here on day 50 of the Cancer Club. Happy to see you all. Um, back at work today, had a, a full day of work, plus had to go for blood work. The, um, uh, the oncologist said my uh, labs last Monday when I went showed my immune system down. All my numbers were off as to be expected, but he wanted me then to go get uh, blood drawn again today and next Monday to make sure that it's coming back up, which is what is supposed to be happening now. So I guess I'll find out about that whenever. Let's see, from the next time I see him probably won't be until, until March. So I'm sure they'll call me if there's a problem, but so it's still, still sort of going on, still trying to check out things. Um, I continue to feel really good. And um, although I really started crashing today, started to get tired at work. In fact, I tried to do my post from work, but my battery was getting very low and I didn't want to have another night like last night where I kind of, it all falls apart at just before the end and then I have to redo it. I'm not skilled enough with the video cameras yet, especially I'm just on the phone level. I mean, there may be other more sophisticated ways to do it. In fact, my, I have a camera that could do videos, but this one uh, on the iPhone, you can just upload them immediately to YouTube with one click. So it's uh, so simple, it's almost hard for me to give that up. But anyway, so I'm not, I'm not doing this for the filmmaking business. Um, so anyway, started to crash, feel pretty tired. I, I came home, got my dog walking clothes on, and I'm going to take Jolie for a walk and then come back and see if I can get a little work done before I go to bed. But still kind of dragging and still feeling, I'm feeling kind of like overwhelmed, like I'm not keeping up with everything, which is sort of true. You know, I've, when in doubt, I don't push myself. And um, I think sometimes that's a good thing. But at the same time, uh, it, it, you can start feeling overwhelmed and then that's not a good thing. So I have to find a balance here between pushing. I did get some a little bit of stuff done last night. going to try for some more tonight and to find that balance between taking care of myself and also taking care of business. Um, so anyway, last night I mentioned uh, codependency. The, the uh, example that I had actually came from my own experience and I thought I would share that just so that you can see, you know, sometimes you think that if somebody's a therapist and they've been supposedly helping people with issues like this, uh, Jolie, I have to zap her, she's licking again. Um, been helping people with issues like this forever that they wouldn't do it themselves but as, as you probably also know it's a lot easier to see things in other people and make suggestions for them to do differently than it is to change patterns in yourself but anyway what I noticed that I thought was a real good um, description of codependency has to do with when I was uh, I was making this decision to shorten my work days and stop taking five o'clock appointments now there are um, there are uh, a few people who would rather have five o'clock appointments and then there are some other people who it seems as if that's all they can do because they have a, a job that's very stressful or they can't get away from their job and um, it really it's too difficult for them to come earlier than five. So uh, some of those people, when I thought about this plan, my first thought was, gee, I don't want, I mean, what am I going to do about them? You know, they, uh, they can't come earlier. And I started thinking maybe I should make just an occasional exception or maybe one night a week I'll do five o'clock appointments or something. I was working my head around the idea of how can I help them to be able to continue their therapy and without stressing them out about having to make too many adjustments. And all of a sudden it dawned on me well, two things. I was taking on the responsibility for solving their problem. Their problem is how can I get to therapy if my therapist takes her last appointment at four? That's their problem to figure out. Now, I would be happy to try to help them figure out what to do about that. But instead, I was figuring out how I could fix it for them. I could be available to them at five, even though that's not best for me, because I didn't want them to... I guess struggle with solving the problem themselves, put them in what I thought would be a difficult position. Um, maybe they have to stop coming 
to therapy and it felt like that would be my fault in a way because I wasn't making it easier for them. And it was so subtle, but it's so ingrained in me, I think, that when it dawned on me, it was like, wow. And not only am I trying to fix their problem and make it my problem, but I'm preventing them from learning how to solve their own problem by taking it on me. This is what I think when we have the intention of helping someone and so we take on the burden or the responsibility of finding a solution to their problem, we're depriving them of the opportunity to find out for themselves what they need to do. And even We may think we have the better solution or like in my case, it just may be easiest. I want to put the burden on me instead of them. And um, it was so important, it was so powerful because I, I really think I've been doing things like that all my life, you know, um, in the, in, with the intention of trying to help and uh, to realize that I'm depriving them of a chance to kind of grow up and learn how to solve problems. I will be happy to facilitate and help them figure out the options, you know, one option to go see somebody else, another option to uh, come less often and maybe take some time off from work in the afternoon on those times, the other option to go talk to their boss about getting away, plan for how they can do that. I mean, there's a lot of options other than just, oh, I will fix it by not asking, not letting there be a problem for them. I'll make it my problem. That It was so cool to realize that because that totally clicked for me as to that's what's wrong with trying to help people by taking the burden on yourself. Um, you give yourself a new problem, you stop them from solving their problem, and nobody is really better off. So that's codependency in a nutshell, and I'm sure there are many other aspects of it. I, I know there are, and uh, I can talk about them some other time, but that's the one that really got me the clearest as I'm, as I'm struggling with this decision, which is going to affect me financially to cut back my hours. Um, it's, it's like purely because I want to, there's no compelling reason other than just it feels like it's better for me to not work so late and be so tired and come home and have no time to, I don't know, play the banjo or just do whatever I want to do. And, uh, you know, I've got to make a decision and that's part of it, but it will affect other people. And I've got to live with that too and not somehow think I can only do it if it doesn't create a problem for anybody else. So that's what I think is cool. Maybe you can think about it yourself and see if there are areas of your life where either you expect people to do that for you or you are one of the people who does that for other people. You know, we're, we're considered to be very nice people, but we're the kind of nice people that sometimes end up feeling like, how come I'm the only one that, you know, worries about this stuff? And everybody else is just either expecting me to solve it for them or they're just not paying any attention to any of it. Maybe I want some thanks or gratitude. There could be lots of little investments that I have to be recognized as this self-sacrificing good person, but I'm sick of it, so I'm not going to do it anymore, even if it means occasionally struggling with letting someone else struggle their own self. And uh, so that's cool. So anyway, uh, you can think about that and see what you think. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, I did make a decision about my, uh, my blog. I haven't gotten very much feedback yet from people, but uh, the feedback I have gotten says keep doing what you're doing, uh, in a nutshell. And I had already decided that myself last night. Uh, I didn't have a dream that I can recall, but I slept really well and uh, just decided that the commitment to do this is a commitment to myself, and I'm going to see it through, and that the... the uh, the fear about not having enough to say or maybe people won't want to watch anymore or something. That's just my little, uh, my little problem, uh, my little codependent concern that I'm not going to make everybody happy or something. I don't know. So I'm just going to keep on putting it out there even though there are really times, like yesterday, my, uh, my talking about how old I look and how old I feel. I mean, those are really heartfelt feelings of mine, but I felt really kind of vulnerable, you know, like I'm really showing my real self and it feels kind of scary a little bit, you know, um, but I'm not going to stop doing it. So, so there. <laughs> okay. So until tomorrow, I hope you all have a great evening. I'm going to wish that you live well, laugh often and love much. 
and I'll see you tomorrow on the Cancer Club. Okay, bye now.